project I've been doing for ASU Hockey, which is uh, looking for NCAA success indicators at junior levels. Um, I accidentally made like 20 slides, so I'm just going to go really quickly. Um, so the goals were what translates to the NCAA um, and how do different leagues compare and how can you do it with basically only elite prospects data. Um, the method is copying the elite prospects data into Excel because I haven't had time to learn Python and then parsing it with MATLAB. Uh, the data set is NCAA freshmen who played in the USHL or AJHL, which are the main uh, recruiting centers for ASU right now. Um, and the plan is to do 2010 to present, but doing it by hand is taking a lot longer than I thought, and so it's basically uh, only a year or two of data. Um, then I use linear models to determine which variables uh, derived from those box stats are valuable as predictors for NCAA success. Um, and the preliminary results show that junior points per game, the win percentage of the team that they ultimately are freshmen for, uh, changes in the points per game year by year during their junior league, and uh, also maybe height can be used to get an accurate prediction. Uh, height had a okay p-value, but I'm hesitant to include it. Um, so what happens is you create a model um, with the adjusted whole model and the adjusted point per game. Uh, you get a 95% confidence bound. So you can see how um, the USHL forwards do, the USHL defense, uh, US, uh, AJHL forwards, which is a much smaller data set, and then the AJHL defense model, uh, which is the smallest data set. I also do goalies, but uh, <laughs> I can't really do a whole lot with just their goals against average and about nothing else. Um, when you do those models, you find a very almost normalized curve for the model residuals, which allow you to create a, um, a standard deviation for uh, the predictor. And then also, since they were all using the same uh, predictor uh, variables, they, but they all have different weights for the outcomes, you can kind of compare leagues, and you can finally get that apples to oranges between AJHL and U USHL. Um, and so that's what I did here. Uh, this is a fixed input. I think it was uh, half a point per game with a, a point 0.1 or point 0.2 uh, change in points per game with a uh, fi uh, 500 win percentage team at 180 centimeters. Um, and you find that uh, USHL forwards are um, less successful with the same numbers at the AJHL, but because uh, I was talking uh, earlier to somebody here that was saying that the AJHL has such a larger difference in uh, talent in their leagues. You actually, is, it's neat that it's shown up in the standard deviation of the model. Um, and like Mika says, this axis has no meaning. Uh, so the future work is learn how to expand the data set by learning the API so that I don't have to be doing this by hand, which takes about uh, 10 hours per year. Uh, I want to expand to the OJHL, NAHL, BCHL, and possibly more. Um, and I want to compare those uh, predictive results with the 17-18 to see if uh, those models uh, outside of the um, outside of the data set uh, still match. And I also want to figure out what to do with the goalie stats. Uh, I really only have games played, save percentage, and goals against average, and it's not super enlightening. Um, and then eventually this model is going to be used to evaluate potential recruits uh, at ASU. That's a picture I took. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Up next is Andrew.